Go and action. Season three, we're going to see Ray sort of deal with some new challenges. The lines of his work and personal life are kind of blurring. Where are you? Uh, Queensland. Why are you being weird? Um... Season one, we really saw mystery in between, someone who's straddling, you know, the personal life and his hey, criminal oh. life. Hey. By season three, we're seeing Ray really question himself. Here he is at work, he's beating people up, he's violent, but here he is with his daughter. And it's the juxtaposition of those two things that makes the show work. Some of the new challenges for Ray is he is not working for Freddie anymore, so he's working more freelance and having to deal with different personalities. His daughter, Brittany, is now a teenager. She's gotten older, so she's more careful with her dad. She suspects, like, of his job. On top of that, he's just dealing with getting older and trying to work out, is this what he wants to be doing? It's funny, it's human, it's family, it's death, it's action, it's all that, you know, danger. That's the beautiful thing about the show. It's showing this guy's life and how he deals with the various things that come at him. This season, it's, it's sort of been ramped up as compared to season one and season two with how it unfolds for Ray and, and for all of them within his world. You're just starting to see Ray in an ever-expanding sense and it's just nice to see that character going to other places. So how do you want to do this? Guns and cash first, please. I think fans of the show are going to enjoy the way the season ends. It is unexpected. I've no doubt that it'll be really satisfying and it'll leave them wanting more for sure.